guys and welcome to this week's Hunger Games. Oh my god, we're in the game. Hunger Games challenge. Right, I need to be super quick with this. So this is the camper challenge by Joshua Guerrier. We don't usually go in this fast. We usually do a nice little introduction. No time for that this week. This is the camper challenge. You can go into the middle and get as many chests as you like. After that, you must hide in sight of spawn and wait until the chests respawn. You can get all the chests around and near spawn and you can use anything, but you must stay near the spawn. 25% is survive the initial bloodbath, 50% is kill one person and survive until final 10. 75% or 75 underscore as he likes to call it is survive until chests respawn and 100% is survive until deathmatch. Well that was uh, that was quite an intro there wasn't it? Okay so quick little note before we go. Um, oops someone's teaming. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm going solo today. If I uh, get to when the chests respawn but I haven't killed one person, I'm going to say that I still can get 75%. That's just me. Um, that's just an opinion. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Need to get something good. Oh, God. Oh, wait. I got some bread. Okay, I got food. Uh, that's something. Right, so... I kind of went into this challenge, I literally just jumped into the server, I didn't know we were this quick, so I don't know how far I'm going to allow myself to go out in sight of spawn. I'm going to say in sight of spawn is this fence there, so I am allowed to go kind of, I'm going to say up to here, but I can't uh, go beyond that. So this is going to be quite tricky, I was really hoping actually that I got the first survival games map, because that's quite easy to, oh god. That's quite easy to um, play if you're hiding near spawn because there's lots of trees. I was going to try and get up on trees, but you know what, guys? None of that this week. Oh, no. Oh, there's something there. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. If I can find something else, that'll be nice. And I'm not going to uh, equip anything in my, heart, in, in my heart bar. What the hell is my heart bar in my toolbar? Because then people think I don't have anything and I'm less likely to be a target. Uh, technically, I'm inside a spawn. I am. I'm still doing it. Okay, well, hello guys. That was a uh, that was a very uh, unform informal. I don't know what you even call it. Uh, informal outro, intro, whatever you want to call it. Is there like a secret chest there? No, that would be a really good place for a secret chest. Just saying. But uh, no, that was a really rushed intro. Is kind of the word I'm looking for. So I didn't have time to properly say hello. Hello guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful day. I don't know why I'm even saying this now. Um, is there a way for me to get on these trees? Because I feel like getting on trees is a really good option right now. Let me see. Also, I need to sneeze. <coughs> and... <coughs> yes, I do in fact have a very odd sneeze. People comment about me. Uh, well, about that of me all the time. Oh, there's a chest there, but I'm going to guess that's already been taken. I'm not even going to go and try and find it. Now, here's a good idea. If I, uh, if I destroy these blocks here, I don't... Think anyone can actually get me, which would be awesome. That guy's got like an iron sword or something. I don't even. Oh boy. Oh boy. You coming at me, bro? You coming at me, bro? Hopefully not. Please don't come at me, bro. Bro, don't come at me. Okay. I really want to complete this challenge this week. Now I say that every week, and it's not like I don't want to complete all of them. No, of course I do. He's trying to figure out how to get up here. Of course I want to complete them every week, but this one I really, really do. Because it's very sneaky without being sneaky, if you understand what I mean. Like, you're being sneaky, but you're in plain sight. Which I really like. I think that's going to be fun. So, I'd really like to be able to complete this one, just for my own kind of... I don't know what the word is. Maybe gratification? I'm just kind of happy that I've done it. Okay, well, um... We're down to 11 people, so... If, if I can kill one person, I mean, definitely can't kill that guy. If I can kill one person and um, and then wait. And actually, you know, if I can kill one person, that will take it down to 10 anyway. I could get 50%. Currently, I'm at 25. I survived the initial bloodbath. If you're wondering what he means by that really fast, um, it's where, you know, everyone goes in the middle and gets chests. And then as we're running out, people kill. Okay, so I'm in the top 10. I still haven't got 50% because I'd need to kill someone. So I either have to camp. I know camping is really cheap as well, so I'm probably going to get some hate for this challenge, but I thought it was a fun one. It's very different. That's what we try to do here on Hunger Games Challenge, guys. We try to vary it up. You coming at me, bro? You coming at me? What you doing, bro? I don't even know where you went. Where, where did he go? Probably went down one of those. He probably went down like that hole there or something. I have absolutely no clue where he went, but that's actually really put me off a little bit. 
Put me off a little bit. Yeah, that chest has definitely been taken. Oh, there he is. Okay. Right. This is probably going to be one of the challenges as well where I do cut between it because I, who knows, I may last a little while. There's some stuff going on there. I need to reinstall Optifine. I updated Minecraft and I forgot to, so I can't zoom in. Um, eight tributes remain. Yeah, they're both pretty geared up. I want to see this right go down. Yeah, um, eventually I might end up killing. Uh, kill it? What am I talking about? Eventually I might end up um, kind of like cutting in between bits and varying up the video editing. Usually I don't like to. The thing about Hunger Games Challenge is that it is all one take. I get one chance at the challenge, which is why sometimes we will fail a few weeks in a row. Because it is very hard to... No. Oh, crap! Crap! I didn't think you could get on there. Okay, okay. Oh god! Run, 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 run! I'm running really, 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 really fast. Not that you have different running speeds in Minecraft. You don't. Oh, I don't even want to look behind me. He might just be behind me. I don't want. <laughs> Shit! This is not how I planned this to go. <laughs> um. Right. Do I keep running? I've got to stay within spawn. I'm still within spawn. It's okay. I'm still within spawn. The fence is still there. I nearly went out of spawn there. I did nearly forget what the whole challenge was about. And therefore I would have failed. Um, yeah, that's the thing with Hunger Games. You know, a lot of the times I do like to do it in one take and we get one chance. Which is why I think you guys like it as well. Because, crap, I've got two guys coming at me. You've got to be kidding me. Please say one of the guys goes for the other one. Because he's more geared up than me. So surely he will, right? Um, and that's, I think, why you guys like it, because it's very relatable, there's a lot of fails, and, you know, we just have fun here, but sometimes I will cut, especially between the ones that take a bit more time, that aren't exactly, crap, he's got a diamond sword, that aren't exactly combat-based, oh, okay, alright, I'm okay, okay, quickly eat up, I think I managed to actually escape, I think I managed to actually do that, um, can I get back onto the tree from this one? I probably can. Although, I hate fence jumps if you watch parkour versus... Yes! Okay. Alright. So, I don't think that tree the guy used earlier to get up is now accessible because he ruined anyone else's chances of getting up by getting up. If you understand what I mean, like, you can't replace the blocks he used and you needed those to get up. So, I think that's good. Let's destroy it just in case... Where was it? It was here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right here. Ugh. What a douche move. There we go. Uh, and then destroy all of these as well. I should be able to jump back like that. No! Crap! Oh, God, how am I going to get back up? Ah, oh, shit. Um, okay, I think I can get back up here. I think I forgot to destroy this one. Thank God I forgot to destroy that. Thank God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Destroy that block there. Now, if I fall again, there is no chance of me getting up here. Um, alright. Okay. <laughs> this is a really cheap challenge. I've just realised, isn't it? It's all about me hiding and being a noob. But you know what? That's part of the fun. Okay, so we've got someone there who hasn't vanished for some reason. That's interesting. Um, I could replant some trees, maybe. That's not going to work. <laughs> How many people are left? If you can't tell, by the way, I've got a bit of a... Not cold, but I've just got a bit of a... A loose nose. A loose nose. Yeah, my nose is on the run. Um, it's actually started snowing here in the UK, which is odd. Uh, but it's none of the type of snow that sticks, which means no no days off for me. But I, uh, I still suffer with the cold and all of that. So it's kind of the worst of a possibly good situation. Any of you guys having that? It sucks, doesn't it? It's like, oh, it's not enough snow to get off whatever you're doing. But it's enough snow to make you feel crappy. Great. Just what I wanted. Anyway, I'm going to maybe cut until I either die, hopefully not, or until the uh, chests respawn, because that is the next thing. I'm not going to be able to kill anyone at this point in the game, I don't think, with the equipment I've got. But there's five tributes remaining, so I can either wait until the chests respawn, and that will get me 75%, or I can, if, it, if we go to deathmatch before... Um, there's bounties now? I didn't know that. If we get to deathmatch before the chests respawn, that's 100%. That right there is challenge completed. And there are only five people left. So it is possible that that might happen. But of course, as the numbers are reduced in Hunger Games, 
the slower it takes for people to die because one, you've got to find it, and two, the people who are around are much more geared up and, you know, therefore it's harder to kill them. So, let's see how we do. Come on, let's do this. I'm, oh, four people! I really want to win this one now. I'm, I'm so close. I really want to get this. Okay, okay, there are three people remaining. And it is 60 seconds until deathmatch. Chests haven't respawned yet, because I'm not sure on the exact timing of that. I've never actually bothered to learn it. Which is weird, you would think I would. I do have a series called Hunger Games Challenge. It might be vital on a lot of challenges to learn when the chests respawn. I just kind of wait for it in chat. I take the lazy route. Anyway, yeah, we have... Uh, wait, did chests respawn? No, that's just a big bunch of text. There are 30 seconds left until deathmatch, guys. If I can survive... If I can, no, 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 no. if I can survive another 30 seconds, I have a 100% of this really cheap and lazy, yet, you know, kind of awesome challenge. So there you go. That's always a good thing. 10 seconds. <laughs> Guys, I think I've done this. And I feel bad. I, a part of me kind of wants to fail this one, because I know that a lot of you guys are going to be like, Oh, that was such a cheap challenge. What the hell, Yoshi? My god, you suck so much. And yes, in a lot of occasions, I do. Should I Should I hit the guy with the diamond sword? Takito Ninja! Yeah, I died. Anyway, there you go, guys. Challenge completed! That was a really weird challenge completed. Commentary sound. Hmm. That was interesting. Uh, I actually want to see how this turns out between these other two guys. I mean, come on, I wasn't ex How is this guy still alive with a diamond sword? Yeah, okay, there you go. We knew he was going to win anyway. I saw him quite early on in the game, actually, if you remember, so there you go. Anyway, guys, there you go. Challenge completed. I feel actually kind of bad about completing this challenge because it was a very cheap one, but, you know... We, uh, we here on Hunger Games Challenge, I always say we, and I don't know why, because it is just me, and it always has been and always probably will be just me. But, um, you know, we, I'm going to continue with it, we here on Hunger Games Challenge have a diverse selection of challenges. Some are vital, some are not, some are violent, some are hot. Don't know why I'm rhyming to finish off this video. I will say bye now, and... Shit, what rhymes with video? I have no idea. Crap. Anyway guys, thank you for thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this week's challenge. Don't forget to suggest in the comment section next week's challenge for you to complete. Um next week I am actually going to be looking for a lot more kind of melee violent kill as many people as you can challenges just so we can switch it up for the couple of relax more relaxed ones that we've had this past 2 weeks. So uh, make sure to leave those in the comment section, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out. And I post content daily, so you won't be missing out on anything, guys. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.